we go into the center we see kind of the surprise for us which is we knew this was a binary star but we ba we effectively didn't really see much of the of the the actual star that produced the nebula but now in miri this star glows red because it has dust around it so in miri we got to see both stars very clearly yeah yeah you can't see it in the first image really but there's two stars there <music> a closer um, a galaxy uh, in the foreground and these four are uh, at a distance of about uh, uh, 300 uh, million light years from us and they're locked in a close interaction a sort of cosmic dance driven by the uh, gravitational force um, you can see here these two uh, in a process of merging uh, within each other. This is a very important image uh, uh, and an area to study because it really shows uh, the type of interaction that drives the evolution of galaxies. That, that, uh, that's the mechanism of galaxies growth. <music> me a while to even figure out what to call out in this image. There's just so much going on here. It's so beautiful. One thing that really, really stands out to me is you sort of get this sense of depth and texture from this new data. Um, there's just, there's a lot going on. To call out a few specifics, first of all, in general, the Carina Nebula is a nearby star forming region within our own Milky Way galaxy, about 7,600 light years away. Um, and in this view, we see some great examples, first of all, of hundreds of new stars that we've never seen before. We see examples of bubbles and cavities and jets that are being blown out by these newborn stars. We even see some galaxies sort of lurking in the background up here.